Hello everyone, so I am Shruti Kora. Welcome all of you in this video. Another interesting and innovative video just to find out how novels or rather the non-academic books can help us to solve and practice our reading comprehensions. So let's go ahead, let's start the beautiful session with a beautiful smile. I want a beautiful smile on all your faces. Take it. Wonderful. Let's go ahead. So I'm Shruti Kara. I'm an award winner at an academy. Moving further. Now, what's so special about this slide? Why this particular slide is here? So this is a bumper offer. For all the CAT aspirants who are planning to give their exams in the year 2021, and if they'll get the six-month subscription today, they'll get the one-month subscription free. And for that as well, if you use the code SCORA Live, right? If you use this code, you'll not only get that one month free, but you'll get the 10% discount too. Look here, use code S for a life for discount on plus an iconic membership. You all can have a look here. That is CAT 2021. And look here, look at the disclaimer. One month extension free on purchase of six months. So that is why I was telling you, go ahead. This is a bumper offer for CAT 2021 aspirants. Go ahead and grab it. Moving further. Now, if you look here, this slide is telling you, it's giving you a glimpse of my award. So this is my award and definitely I'm an award winner at an academy and this is a glimpse of my award. Next. If you wish to contact me, if you wish to, you know, have the training, have the guidance by me, you can join my telegram channel CAT by Shruti Kora and you can give me a call there. You can message me or whatever your queries are. If you are planning to join plus sessions, make sure use this code as for a life. Get the 10% discount as well as definitely to get the benefit of the bumper off. Moving further. Now, how to buy an academy subscription is a major question that most of the students are struggling with. Let me tell you, there are two options here, plus and iconic. Look, I have selected plus. So there are three options in plus. That is six months, 12 months, and 24 months. You use the code as for a life for 10% discount. Here you use the code Shruti. Click on proceed to pay or even as for a life, you'll automatically get the discount. Second, if you plan to opt for the iconic subscription. There are just two options, that is the 12 months and 24 months. Again, use the code as Cora Life to get the 10% discount. Type the code here in the referral code. Click on proceed to pay. You'll automatically get the discount. Next. There is one important feature as well. In your Run Academy app, you can use that if you are having any doubts in any question, in any of the question in DILR as well as the QA. You can look here, here I have selected that particular, you know, ask a doubt option. Then here I have taken a picture in the second step. Then I have cropped that particular image. Simply, let's say I have a book. I went to the ask a doubt feature in my Academy app. I clicked that picture. Of course, that picture is quite large enough. If you want that particular question to be focused, you can select crop that area and ultimately Select the subject to which that question belongs so that that question could be directed towards the desired educator. Again, don't forget to use the code as for our life. Moving further. Next. What is this RC practice through novels? Leaders are always readers, as I always say. And this is actually a wonderful idea that if you really plan to be a, you know, leader or even an avid reader the other thing is kind of it goes hand in hand these two things always goes hand in hand if you are a leader you have to be a reader and if you are an avid reader you will definitely be a leader because leaders are always readers so let's go ahead understand what is this rc practice through novels let's go ahead 
books are man's best friend and i always say and i'll keep on saying this in all my sessions why i'll tell you the reason why moving further this image is actually giving a lot of serenity and peace of mind this is actually a thoroughly enjoying image whenever i look at this image i somehow find that inner peace that still there is there are a lot of things that we can do better one let's go ahead next now there are a lot of people who are thirsty for knowledge so books are the best option to quench your thirst trust me there are a lot of questions maybe we are unable to get the answers we think that maybe even our adults even our teachers or even a lot of people won't be able to answer our questions but trust me there are a lot of questions in this world which people cannot answer but books can yes books can so if you have that thirst for knowledge i suggest become an avid reader next coming to the analogy why books are considered as our best friend what do best friends do they cheer up they make sure that whenever we are feeling low whenever we are feeling sad we should they try to make us feel better they soothe us you know they soothe our soul they make us feel better and sometimes we laugh out loud with them that is what we can do i am not asking you to start with a very you know classic book or something like that if you like fiction you can go for fiction if you like the non fiction genre you can start with the non fiction genre if you would like to start with the inspiring motivational biography these kind of books it's up to you but as far as the reading comprehension is concerned if you really are a serious aspirant who wants to crack the cat then yes there are certain books that you should refer because their language their literary style it's actually magnificent moving further now what benefit this video will give you of course this will give you a chance to have a sneak peek into the novel what kind of novel it is who's the author what's the plot next we are going to practice rc through it that's for sure now if you have a look here you know generally non academic books take the back seat people generally don't consider non academic books as a good option either they find it boring or they don't have the time or there could be a third reason where they think that they start reading a book but they don't find it interesting enough now to be honest with you when you were in your even class 2 or class 5 you did not find your maths book or history book or for that matter of fact any other subject interesting even you know hindi as well but then you studied it because it was kind of forced thing on you so this is a human nature when things are forced on to you you prefer to study and when things are given as a liberty to you you prefer to do them at your own speed or they always take a you know back seat that is what i am suggesting you here that although these books are your non academic books but once you develop a habit of reading these books trust me you'll get that thrust to move forward in your reading comprehension practice or even in your life as i said earlier as i mentioned earlier your quench for thirst i mean your thirst for knowledge will be quenched you'll be completely quenched or your thirst will be completely quenched perfectly fine moving further now guess the name of the book i'm giving you some hint you have to guess the name of the book so have you ever felt like something that you did was so terrible you know that you needed to do something to redeem yourself maybe you have done something so terrible that you wanted to redeem yourself what is this redemption all about this must have happened to all of you somewhere in your life and if not then also we can't say life is too long right so what do you think which kind of book or what is the name of the book that i'm going to discuss which is this book let's go ahead and find out so this book is all about redemption you know gaining freedom from some sin and this is the central theme of the book now i am telling you the central theme as well because central theme is one of the main topic of reading comprehension passages the author the one who sets the question paper they always try to ask you the central theme so here 
I'll not only tell you the central theme, but what you could do is that once you finish the reading the gist or even complete book, try to link, try to link this statement of mine that is redemption or gaining freedom from sin. Is it actually the central theme of the book? And are you able to understand this particular statement? Let's go ahead and find out. Next. So actually, I'm giving you one more hint. This novel is about a family in Afghanistan that makes mistakes but learns and grows from them. And what is it all about? The book name is The Kite Runner. It's by Khaled Hussein. So, you know, Kite Runner is a story of Amir. He is a Sunni Muslim. And he struggles to find his place in the world. Yes, we all do. He is not the only one. Then, because of some after effects and fallout from a series of traumatic childhood events, he must have seen something which could be traumatic for him. So there was a, you know, fallout from some serious traumatic childhood events. Then again, redemption, learn the word redemption. Learn the word fallout, traumatic childhood. Learn the word that someone is struggling to find his place in the world. Yes, this is actually, it seems like it's going on in everybody's life. So, you know, this book is actually dealing with many sensitive subjects such as sexual assault, betrayal, family connections. A lot of things have been discussed. And how, as I mentioned earlier, that person is trying to do redemption, freedom from some sin. Let's go ahead and find out. So what is the message of this particular book, Kaitrana? What is, now we actually got the central theme as I just message, as I just mentioned. Let me just go back and show it to you. That, you know, it's redemption or gaining freedom from sin. This was a central theme. But what is that moral lesson that book is giving you? What is that main message? Let's go ahead and find out. Actually, the kite runner says, the story transcends Afghan values. It's actually transcending that Afghan values. Now, the question is, what is what do we mean by these values? It's guilt. Friendship, forgiveness, I'm repeating again, guilt, friendship, forgiveness, loss and desire for atonement. A lot of good vocabulary that you can refer to. It's just not just a redemption, it's a guilt, friendship, loss and desire. Loss, definitely, that's one of the main things. And desire for atonement and forgive and forget. As we always say. So you always, we all have the desire to be better. Whosoever we are. Right? So we always feel that some of us, right? They always feel that we needed a better version of ourselves. So the same main idea or the lesson this book is trying to give you. You know, the values that it's going to discuss that. You have that desire to be better than who you think you are. Because yes, we could be better than what we think we are. There is no second thought to it. Next. So is it all about redemption? Is this book only about redemption? Let's go ahead and find out. So that Amir, that Sunni Muslim which I mentioned there, he has that quest, he has that pursuit to redeem himself. That is actually the heart of this particular book. You know, he has that quest to redeem. Somehow, he wants to redeem himself of whatever, you know, sin he did. Then again, it's all about forgiveness, loss, desire for atonement, guilt, friendship. These all words are making up. But yes... The heart of the novel resides in the fact that Amir, who is a Sunni Muslim, he, redeemed, he wants to redeem himself. Next. And to redeem himself to Baba. 
Amir thinks the kite tournament. So why this title kite runner? Because there is a kite tournament that has been portrayed into this particular novel. And he wants to redeem himself to Baba. So he thinks that this kite tournament would be a good option. And he bring Baba the losing kite. He wants to bring Baba that losing kite. And both of which are actually inciting incidents. These incidents actually set the theme because on these two incidents set the rest of the novel in motion. So even though everything happens after the kite tournament, but that changes the life of that particular boy. Next. Now let's do that RC practice. Let's see some passage and let's try to find out the answers. Let's go ahead. So I had one last chance to make a decision. One final opportunity to decide who I was and going to be. I could step into that alley, stand up for Hassan the way he would stood up for me all those times in the past. So you can clearly see till here that maybe Amir has a friend Hassan. Since we are already aware of some background knowledge, we can say that he is already aware of Hassan. And even though we are not aware of the background knowledge, still the idea is to find out the answers based on the passage only. Although the good part is that fortunately we are aware of the plot. So now he is thinking that, you know, he now he has got that one last chance to make a decision. He has that final opportunity to decide that what he wants to be, who is going to be. So he could step into that Broadway street. He could stand up or in the sense he could actually say that Hassan is right. And the way he would stood up and now why he's saying that he should have actually, you know, stood up for Hassan. Why he's saying because now in his flashback, he's thinking that Hassan has also stood up for him in all his times in the past. And accept whatever would happen to me. And after that, whatever happened to him, he is saying that I should be able to accept that. Or the second option is either he can run. Like, a, uh, you know, let's not call it coward or someone. But then there are two options. Either you can stand up for someone or you can run. This is what the passage is saying. So what did he do? He chose to run away and he ran. This is what it's written here. In the end, I ran. So I ran because I was a coward. I was afraid of Asif. Yes, of course, we are, we are always afraid of somebody. So that is the reason we try to run away from the things. And what he would do to me, if I could stand up for Hassan, maybe another person named as Asif, there could be Hassan and Asif in your life too. So you are afraid that if I take a stand for A, then B might stand against me and he could actually do something wrong to me. So I don't want to have that wrong things on me. So actually, I was afraid of getting hurt. That's why I told myself as I turned back my back to the alley to Hassan, that's what I made myself believe. So he's justifying, he's giving the reason in this particular paragraph that why he ran away. So look at the important keywords. If, of course, you have a background knowledge that always works as, you know, extra cherry on the cake. Next. I actually aspired to cover these because the alternative, the real reason I was running was that a sieve was right. Nothing was free in this world. Maybe Hassan was the price I had to pay. There are no free lunches. This is what he's telling you. So he had to pay the price as, you know, Hassan. Maybe Hassan was the price he had to pay. The lamb I had to slay to win Baba. Because now it's a choice whether he would like to actually stand up against Hassan or he can actually win Baba. So was it a fair price? My God, you have got both the options and both are equally dear to you. The answer floated to my subconscious or rather conscious mind. Because he is actually, he is not in a subconscious state. Before I could thwart it, it, he was just a Hazara, wasn't he? Look at the beauty with which the author is writing. 
and what is the main theme here if you look here what is the main theme you know at this particular moment in the book the central theme is now looking at this passage all the redemption and freedom for from sin is the main theme of the book but just by looking at that passage can we say the central theme is betrayal and then that's how the redemption emerges because obviously when you betray someone then only the redemption emerges so amir knows that hasan is being brutally assaulted by a seed so what happened what exactly happened that his friend hasan was brutally assaulted by a seed and who is a seed he is a cruel and racist neighborhood boy but again he chooses not to intervene this is what happens so what is the theme betrayal and then re redemption emerges right so you know this crucial decision reveals amir's inability to do what is right because he he thought that maybe i could win baba and he ran away and this cruel decision actually reveals amir's inability to do what is right because amir ran away ideally he should have stood up against hasan and that's how the particular you know plot moves forward that amir's decision not to act it underscores the ethnic tensions between pashtuns and hazaras so there are kind of you know two two kind of cultures there and this is what he is mentioning that as asif remarks coldly it's only a hazara so you can see that they are making a kind of a racist remark here next so that was all about the central theme that was all about that how the particular passage the theme of that particular passage is a little different from the rest of the novel but ultimately if you read the complete novel the theme appears to be for redemption but there the theme was betrayal now definitely why this particular slide because if you watch these videos if you actually understand the novels and the rc practice in a very simple clear lucid manner the way i am explaining in this video i am pretty sure your name will also come here in the on this particular slide so don't forget to use the code as for a life for discount on plus and iconic and there is a assignment as well i have already given you a particular passage from this novel you all can have a look here now based on this i have asked you to do this question find out the meaning synonyms antonyms and sentence usage for the following word that is religious zealotry radicalized perversion give me synonym one or two antonym one or two and the sentence you said it could be two or three that's how once you learn the sentence usage no that's how you will be able to use this words in your daily life that is the benefit point number 1 Point number two: When these words will appear in the RC passage next time, you'll be able to answer them, understand them very easily. So I want all of you to do this assignment. Message me on the Telegram, right? And then definitely, this is your journey to learn the most important words for management exam preparation and. to learn the most important concepts of reading comprehension as well as verbal ability through these videos and the plus sessions wonderful so at the end i as i always say all the best to all of you just remember one thing that let us read and let us dance these two amusements will never do any harm to the world that said by voltaire at the end of the day when you want to get some amusement in your life you dance so similarly follow my advice read too because at the end of the day you have got nothing to lose it will only quench your thirst it will only add knowledge to your repository wonderful now 
enroll yourself there are a lot of batch courses that are going on please enroll yourself because even if you use my code s cora life for all the categories that are academy you'll get the discount but you'll also get a chance to visit any of the class you would like to visit wonderful now this is india's biggest weekly scholarship test called as an academy combat for all the cat aspirants here you can get a chance of course enroll for free look here you get a chance to win a scholarship from a pool of 55 lakh people so take it live and cat combat every sunday at 12 and don't forget to use the code s cora live you'll get a lot of boost you will get a lot of scholarships for example if you rank between 1 to 3 there will be one year cat plus subscription if your rank is between 4 to 10 75% scholarship if your rank is between 11 to 50 50% here 4 to 10 is 75% and if you are between 51 to 200 25% but as i always said don't forget to use the code s cora live to enter the academy combat wonderful that's very nice of you this is shruti kara signing off for today thank you so much we'll meet you again in the next video till that time keep revising all my earlier videos thank you so much wonderful